Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. This is Wednesday the 26th of April and I'm Nigel Croft. In this short video we'll be looking at the charts on two UK stocks. Both very popular at the moment on bulletin boards. If you're a member on a bulletin board and you like what you hear in the video or maybe you don't like what you hear in the video do post the video on the bulletin board. Let's get people talking about TA for traders. In this video, we'll be looking at the charts on Premier Oil, PMO, and Codal Minerals, KDO. Thank you. So, starting with Premier Oil, here we have the daily. Each candle represents one day's trading. And you can see that we're down below all the moving averages. Um, I hope you can just see the yellow one. We've just gone below that. So we did trade above it yesterday, but we closed below it. And we're trading again below it today. That moving average is tracking down is negative, as are all the other moving averages. Here we've got the 50-day, the blue line tracking down, and the 200-day, which is now rolling over and moving down. We also have previously had the 20 crossing the 50 in a bearish cross, 20 crossing the 200 bearish cross, 50 crossing the 200 bearish cross. That's all quite negative. Also, we've got the RSI, that's down below 50, 44.05, uh, so negative on there, showing negative, in a downtrend, showing negative momentum as well. MACD tracking sideways, not giving any indications at the moment. Um, you can see that there's um, a very short term pattern of, of lower, uh, of higher lows, which is positive, um, but it's looking shaky. That's a key support level at the 60 spot 04. A break below there would see further downside. Looking at the longer term picture, here I'm drawn to a, a head and shoulders formation. You've got the left shoulder here, then we had the rise through in January, creating the head, and now we've got this consolidation phase to the right with the right shoulder. Um, again, any break um, really below um, this level, which is just below 52, would break that to the downside. Head and shoulders, uh, when it breaks the downside, is a negative formation, and uh, further downside should be expected. Here also on the weekly, you can see that we're below the 50 week and the 20 week moving average and they're starting to roll down as well. RSI on the weekly indicative of negative momentum, again below 50, 43 spot 55 and the MACD um, again neutral-ish like they were on the daily but, but slightly more negative as, as they're sloping downwards. Now looking at the very short term picture, this is the four hour chart. And here, is there any um, positive signs coming through? Not really, we're, we're in a, a range trading situation. We're coming down towards the lower boundary of that range, uh, supports at 60 spot five. Moving averages, 20 day moving down, giving downside pressure. 54 hour moving average going sideways. RSI did get back above 50, but now has drifted back below again, 44.32. MACD again, like the other two charts, not showing us anything. On the support resistance levels on Premier Oil, uh, resistance is at those downtrending moving averages, 63 spot 46 and 65.80 with support at 60 spot 25 and 58.19. Moving on to Codal Minerals, um, you can see that, um, I don't need to explain, we had a, a massive bullish run, um, went up five times at the, at the end of December and early January. We've since then had a consolidation phase, another rise up and we're in a consolidation phase. Um, there's expectation that today's move um, is another break to the upside, but as, as I talk now, it is at um, 10 past 11. 
that seems to be um, not happening we've pulled back and we could get an engulfing pattern on today's candle if the present trend continues um, just quickly I'll move on to the four hour and you, you can see the picture we opened high um, and it's come all the way back um, off the lows at the moment but quite worrying um, if, if this is an engulfing picture so let's just nip back to the daily if this is an engulfing picture you can see that uh, we have got the 50 day moving average which is flat line in um, <coughs> at the 0.2839 level <coughs> excuse me the 20 days at 0.285 you can't really see it in this chart um, it's in the middle of today's range trade really um, so um, keep an eye on that um, there's key supports at the 0.271 level um, on this daily um, if it today is proven to be an engulfing bearish pattern you would expect that support to be tested looking at the longer term um, obviously on a chart like this it's it's very difficult you can see that we are getting support from the 20 week moving average and also it does appear that the weekly ranges are narrowing which would be a good sign if we do get a break um, on the upside and obviously a, a bad sign if we get a break on the downside um, looking at this weekly it, it would be indicative holding this 20 week that the break could be to the upside eventually but when will it occur it's giving no sign the RSI is presently at 55 and is flatlining MACD also giving no sign of any any imminent break and then just quickly moving back to this uh, four hour chart if we don't hold to the upside today this chart um, today's well the, the last four hours candle will just prove it ir irrelevant and will then continue with a, 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 cont of a further pattern of very small range four hour book candles and in staying in in the range trading for for, for a, a bit longer um, go back to the daily if that occurs we'll get a few more days going sideways then we let's see what would happen once the 50 day turns around and catches up will that give the push to give the break let's wait and see in my view it's don't rush in into this stock at the moment wait a few days see what happens come back and view at the end of the week um, I hope um, just quickly oh sorry um, on Kodal Minerals the support resistances levels are there so we've got the 20 day 2855, 50 day 2841 with key resistance at 32 and 35. Thanks for watching. Oops, sorry. It's going... Sorry about that. It's all gone a bit pear shaped towards the end. Uh, if, you, if you've just seen the, the mess up that I've had, thank you for watching uh, right through to the end. If you enjoyed what you've seen, despite the cock-ups, um, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're on a bulletin board, spread the word and post that video on there. Everyone can have a laugh at my mishaps. Please remember that this, these uh, these charts I'm looking at and my uh, and the opinions I give are for educational purposes only and are not meant as an investment recommendation. Thank you. Thank you.